just got done drinking the, the coconut water. And this is kind of a side note. Uh, this The coconut water is very high in electrolytes. It's, it's almost, well, it is actually higher in electrolytes than Gatorade. So if you want to um, be able to, if you're in a survival situation and you need the energy, like Gatorade, um, you can drink this uh, coconut water, or I call it people water, and it's very, very good for you. Now, um, now what you're going to want to do, this is for, just to remind you, this is for a simple bowl. If you want a more complex bowl, you're going to have to look at my next vi video. It's probably going to be um, over in the description or somewhere, you know. I'll put it in there. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is cut it right in half. If you take a look at this coconut, um, there's the three holes of the triangle that I was showing you. And then the other side, there's this triangle of black. Now what you're going to want to do is not cut like this. You're going to want to cut like this. Because otherwise you're going to have a bowl that's kind of mis like messed up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this coconut oh, black. Well, be nice. on the ground. And wait, I'm just going to whack it. where I don't want it. It would, it'll work, but um, as I said, this is only my second time. It kind of cracked in a place where I didn't want it to crack. But um, yeah. There. So this would be great for a bowl if there wasn't a hole at the bottom. You'd have a lid, and it'd be a great little container. Now, um, you can always seal up that hole at the bottom with a little bit of pitch. I don't know if there's pitch out here, but um, you can always seal it up with a little bit of pitch, and it would still work great. Now, um, this coconut is actually very, very good for you, just like the coconut water. It is high in calories. So for those people who uh, are trying to lose weight, well, if you're in a survival situation, you need those calories to keep you going because you're not going to get food three times a day. Um, so what you're going to want to do, this is a little bit tough. Um, sometimes you can get the soft coconut, which is really nice. But this tough stuff, I'm going to put it in the blender because I'm going to make a smoothie later with it. But what you're going to want to do is you're just going to go all the way around the edge sticking a spoon or your knife and just popping it out from the coconut and you're going to do this to both of them and you can either cut it like I did towards the top to form a bowl with a lid or you can cut it right down the middle and create two bowls your choice and but either way you got to clear this coconut out from the uh, coconut itself. This could take a little bit depending on how hard or how soft the coconut is. So I've just finished scraping the last bits of coconut out of the bottom and the top of my um, jar slash bowl. Now what I'm going to do is um, you don't have to do this because if you want a lid, don't do it because it will ruin it. But if you don't want a lid, um, take your knife and tap all the way around the coconut looking for weak spots. And when you find a weak, weak piece, bash it in with the side of your knife and break it off and get rid of it. So, and then that'll make it so the rim is very strong. Now, I've already done that, so I can't show you exactly what I mean, but my top does not fit anymore. So, I'm not going to be needing this. You could probably keep this if you wanted to, to hold, like, berries or something, but not going to need that anymore. So, here is the bowl. It is almost done. 
when if you are in a survival situation, you can take sand and rub sand on the outside of the coconut, and that will act as kind of like a sandpaper, and it will smooth it out, and same with around the edges. And if you're not in a survival situation, well, then you can just use sandpaper. Now, um, now that we have a hole in the bottom of our um, bowl, it's going to be kind of hard to plug up that hole without pitch. So I'm going to be posting a, a video shortly on how to make pitch, either a video or um, I'm going to just blog about it. Uh, about how to make pitch and then what you're going to want to do is when you get that pitch is you're going to want to put it on the inside and the outside and smooth it out and fill that hole in with pitch and then let it dry and that should s solve the problem of um, the hole and the reason why I did it this way is because at the top of the coconut it's naturally flat I just realized that so when I set it down it'll naturally stay like that so um Thanks for watching. Please uh, check out my YouTube channel. Um, I'm not sure what the URL is, but uh, you can just search Channel Fancy, and I should come up. One of my videos is a cat licking a guinea pig. That's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and have fun learning on my blog. Okay, one last thing before I go. This, the bits of the coconut that you've cut away, if you're not by a camp, you can just leave it. But if you're going to be building your camp and you do this right by your camp, you're going to want to discard these because what they're going to do is they're going to attract hordes and hordes of ants. And it's terrible to uh, be walking around your camp and have huge red ant trails leading to where you are working on your coconut. So... You're going to want to clean this stuff up and get it all, as far away from your camp as possible.